What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I actually made over $60,000 in seven days. One week, okay? I'm um, actually gonna screen share like right now um, just to show you guys proof and everything like that. And then we can begin talking about you know, how I actually uh, generated these results with you know Shopify dropshipping, okay? So we're gonna have a screen share right now. All right guys, so as you can see, um, right here it says $62,741.76 between the 23rd and the 30th, right? So that's, that, that is seven days or a week, okay? I'm gonna refresh it for you guys as well. Um, just, I don't know, to show you guys because they're skeptics as always, all right? And then as you guys can see, uh, on the 23rd we made $7,000, on the 24th there was 8,000, on the 25th, 10,000, on the 26th, 8,000, uh, or almost 9,000 actually. Um, on the 27th, $7,000, on the 28th, uh, just over 8,000, on the 29th, 6,000 and then on the 30th 6,000 guys, okay? Um, and I mean this you can see you know all the other stats as well like our conversion rate the average order value total number of orders all that kind of stuff, but You know, what did we actually do to get these kind of results right with with drop shipping? Okay, and The basis of it right well, what attributed most of this guys is Facebook ads um, We did not start off with Facebook ads. Okay that like to be clear um, that is a method that some people do and some people you know advocate for is hey you, you know jump right into Facebook ads test multiple different products lose money testing those different products or different you know um, conversions campaigns different objectives um, to kind of see what what kicks what doesn't and then kind of dump a lot of money into what works and then cut the ones that don't work right that, that that's a that's a fair method okay but personally what we did and what we did for these stores right is again with the funnel and everything that I teach here at the ecom hub and you know with all the free mini courses down below and just everything like that Instagram influencers okay that's how we start with everything okay that, that's that's just the cycle that works for me it works really really well for me so that's what I try and teach you guys because it just works okay it's a continuous cycle that you can continually get results from consistently if, if, if you know what you're doing okay and how that funnel works again guys is Instagram influencers you source good influencers that have legitimate followings legitimate presence okay you work with them to get shout outs you know story ads um, posts like on their feed um, anything like that and then have that traffic drive to your Instagram page for your store Okay, and then from there you drive them to your website and get them to convert. And while that's happening, right, you have your Facebook pixel that's actually recording um, all you know all the data, reporting all the data, the demographics, who's adding to cart, who's purchasing, what pages are being viewed the most. Okay, um, what age demographic is actually visiting your site the most? What age demographic is purchasing? Uh, locations are purchasing from like all that information, right? The Facebook pixel is, is collecting all of it. All right, and what you do afterwards, right? After you've kind of um, Populated that Facebook pixel is you begin scaling and testing those Facebook, those Facebook ads with the data that you already collected. Okay, so you're not kind of jumping into Facebook, you know, to like with, with with you know both feet in the water and then just like sinking and hoping to like climb your way back up, right? Um, you're using information that you've already collected from these Instagram influencers, okay, from this data, from the orders you've received, and then moving it to kind of Facebook and letting Facebook go, okay, Facebook, these are the people that I know purchase my product. These are the people that I know are interested in my product go find more, okay? That's basically like, the, that's in the simplest form, that's what you're doing with Facebook ads, right? With these different objectives. I'm gonna let you guys know that for this particular store, add to cart objectives actually had the most conversions um, compared to the other ones, like instead of just traffic or exposure or actual conversions, um, add to carts and purchasing um, for the add to cart objective actually worked the most for us, um, which is the most beneficial, okay? So that's a little tidbit of nugget for you guys, but basically you guys, that's that's the, really like the, the funnel and what we did to actually get these results, right? It's we start with Instagram influencers, okay? I'm gonna repeat this again because it's super, super important. A lot of people don't understand that it takes patience and experimentation, all that kind of stuff. And there's a bunch of these little small things that play into it, okay? So Instagram influencers, you're sourcing influencers, right? That's the first step. You need to find good influencers, okay? You can't just go with any influencers, right? I talk about this in the Instagram mini course, right, down below, which I suggest you guys check out as well. But literally, I talk about, hey, you you know, there, there's this market of drop shippers and then this market of Influencers that want drop shippers money for shout outs on Instagram, okay, and there's a whole market behind that and there's people trying to take your money um, That you know prey on these inexperienced drop shippers that just want you know exposure for their products And that's something to be very very aware of because it's, it's a true thing and it's happening Okay, so again, you got to source proper influencers with proper followings. Okay, that's the step one Then your actual shout out or what you're using to get you know attention peak curiosity provoke an emotion in your in your you know potential client is content, okay? Content is king in this world. I preached it in my last video and all my videos, okay? Unique content will get you sales, promise, okay? So if you guys can actually get your own photos or you know have photography friends that are really, really good at photos, okay? And then allowing them to kind of use their skill to you know take really, really good product photography for your site, okay, for your website, 
as well for your ads, for your paid ads, for your shout outs, all that kind of stuff for your Facebook feed. That's very, very vital in just building a brand, building you know, an authentic actual brand that like peaks customer interest and you know puts you away from this typical dropshipper kind of vibe that most people are you know stuck in right that's why a lot of you guys don't get sales is because everyone kind of knows oh they're just a reseller right or oh i know i can find this product elsewhere for you know 10 bucks cheaper okay but if you position yourself as a completely unique kind of brand and vibe with your own product images it, it makes it look like it's it's yours right it's your brand's people buy from people okay so if you can project that onto your products through this content and you guys are set then you can really really convert on this on the, on these sales right and that, that's how you get more traffic to your stores in the initial like beginning stages of you know building that Facebook pixel is you have good content right that shout out that you use on Instagram that gets the curiosity okay now they're looking at the caption right the picture makes them look at the caption the caption you know you have your two CTAs um, your description of the product may be a discount depends on how you're leveraging your brand are you luxury are you you know affordable goods etc um, stuff like that but then that drives them to your Instagram page from your Instagram page right the content again looks good it, it like because they already piqued their curiosity if they're looking at your Instagram page but then if the content looks good and everything like that then it kind of confirms it then they go to your website okay then your website has all these different apps and widgets and blah 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 installed which again guys like I list everything in the description so there's that or then you can literally hop in the free web design mini course link in the description always like you guys know you guys know i gotta do it but but guys you have all these different widgets in your store you have all these different apps that help convert or help build customer trust or customer loyalty um or just collect data with emails and stuff like that so you can retarget down the road but all this kind of stuff to help collect data so that the people visiting your site don't just leave right it's like having someone go in and then out right away and you never see them again you don't want that you want to have at least some form of like trail to at least follow them and they kind of like reel them back in eventually at some point all right so that's that's like the gist of it right and then from that instagram store right where you're getting the traffic it goes to your website and again you have these widgets and apps installed to help convert on your site right with your facebook pixel installed then you can kind of go into facebook and start tweaking with paid ads and experimenting you know with different budgets and whatnot guys and again depending on your budget there's lots of different ways to go with this um some people say oh yeah you know you just start you know um five dollar um budgets daily per objective and you know have five Running, which is what I what personally I think you guys should do if you don't have the biggest budget okay but if you are willing to you know um, for one if you want to go quicker right because five dollars a day for five days that's like almost a week right and you're like, kind of waiting to see those results with not a lot of ad spend so it's kind of hard to actually gauge you know what's what but if you guys want really, really fast results then I suggest you do two days okay like so the actual campaign lasts two days but you're spending two hundred dollars a day per objective okay that's again if you have a bigger budget but also like that'll reveal you like what's working a lot quicker and then hey if it's working well then you just dump a lot more money in okay assuming you know if you can do the 200 dollars a day for the budget and whatnot then i'm assuming you can have more money to actually pump into once you realize which one kicks which ones don't all right so that's that's another quick strategy guys and again for this store the add to cart objective really really worked well for that i like i'm literally telling you guys what worked for the store and the screen share is still recording even though i really moved much on this but that's that's the video guys i hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment um, i respond to everybody's comments don't forget to subscribe as well um literally i'm doing a video a day guys and i'm hoping to like give you guys crazy crazy value so that you can be like oh wow like it's actually doable guys i'm 20 okay and i just turned 20 Okay, I bought a supercar drop shipping. I got you know this this penthouse that I'm living in right now, which is just an office, which is just white right now. You don't see that, but I'm upstairs and just like everything that I'm able to do is through drop shipping. That's why I teach drop shipping. That's why I kind of help you guys out with drop shipping. Okay, and so that's that's what this video is for. And I'm literally telling you guys the objective that worked best for this store. Okay, kind of how to build up that pixel and then kind of what to do afterwards. Okay, like you guys have the information now to actually go ahead and do that. Okay, now if you want more like in depth, just more information in general to kind of get your feet right, like hit the ball rolling and just like actually nearly guarantee results just because you actually have like a foolproof of blueprint essentially, right? Then there are the free mini courses down in the Ecom Hub, guys. Link is in the description. And there is the Shopify Mastery course, guys. That's me and a few other people putting our insight in literally every single thing, right? So we go in-depth on Instagram info, in-depth on website creation, in-depth on, you know, branding, marketing, Facebook ads. Are you manually bidding? Like, what are you doing actually to, to kind of leverage your store and actually get these results right so that's the video guys i will see you guys in tomorrow's video i'm back from la um if you guys saw yesterday's video but <laughs> take care guys peace thanks for watching guys be sure to subscribe like and comment check out the ecom hub my personal platform which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free pdfs and mini courses and last but not least don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates giveaways and literally everything that's cool